the electrical activity of the heart. The rhythmic contraction of the heart is governed by an electrical impulse. A chamber of the heart beats when an electrical impulse moves across it, causing the muscle to contract. These electrical impulses originate rhythmically in a special area of nerve tissue situated in the right atrium. This nerve tissue is called the sinoatrial node and is sometimes referred to as the heart's own pacemaker. In an average person at rest, the sinoatrial node will discharge 70 times per minute. This, in effect, means the heart will beat 70 times per minute. The heartbeat itself consists of a two-part cycle of relaxation, called diastole, and contraction, called systole. In total, this usually takes about one second. The electrical impulses travel through a series of special nerve fibres, causing a coordinated wave of muscle contraction in the atria, which helps to move blood through the tricuspid and mitral valves and into the ventricles. The electrical impulses pause briefly in the atrioventricular node, AV node. This allows atrial contraction to fill the ventricles with blood before the ventricles are then made to contract. This part of the cardiac cycle is known as diastole. When the ventricles are full of blood, the second part of the cardiac cycle, known as systole, begins. This is initiated by the electrical impulse, passing from the AV node rapidly through a series of nerves and causing the ventricles to contract. This sequence of electrical activity allows contraction of the heart muscle to propel blood through the heart in a controlled and rhythmic fashion. The heart does not work in isolation, and the heart rate is influenced by many factors including exercise, stress, temperature, and nervous or hormonal influences. This allows the circulatory system to be very flexible in meeting the body's needs, which can vary considerably from time to time.